Hello everyone. This video introduces the overall process and key operations for deploying a data center network in the Cloud Fabric Easy scenario. The recommended networking is used as an example. The networking consists of the service network and out-of-band management network. In the Easy scenario, the out-of-band management mode must be used. The deployment process in the Easy scenario consists of several key phases that will be introduced in this video. First, let's introduce the hardware installation phase. Upon device delivery, check the devices and move them into position. A server pre-installed with iMaster NCE fabric will have a label like this attached to it. This is to help you quickly find the iMaster NCE fabric server. Install the network devices based on the information, such as the equipment room survey. Note that in the easy scenario, the service connections between network devices are generated by iMaster NCE fabric. Therefore, do not connect service cables until the service connections are generated. As the out-of-band management mode is used in the easy scenario, you need to connect the management interfaces of network devices to the out-of-band management switches. Next, install the iMaster NCE Fabric Server in the specified cabinet. According to the network plan, the iMaster NCE Fabric Server is deployed in dual-plane mode. For this reason, connect the Ethernet cables for the southbound and northbound planes to the out-of-band management switches. In Phase 2, you need to configure the out-of-band management network. Log in to the out-of-band management switch and perform the following configurations to prepare for the automatic registration of switches on the service network. Note that the analysis platform iMaster NCE Fabric Insight is optional and is deployed on a single server. The firewall is also optional. You need to log into the firewall and manually pre-configure the underlay network. Here are some configuration commands. First, configure the device name, dedicated VPN for out-of-band management, IP address of the management interface, and basic functions such as device login information for the management switches. Then, configure the working mode of the out-of-band management switches. If two Huawei Cloud Engine switches function as the out-of-band management switches, you are advised to configure them in an M lag. If other switches are used, configure them as required, for example, in a stack. Next, you need to create VLANs and gateways for dual-plane access of iMaster NCE fabric. Then, complete the access configurations for the iMaster NCE fabric server. Note that the server is often connected in active standby bonding mode. Finally, Configure the management interfaces of the network devices and servers to connect to the management switches and add the interfaces connecting the management switches with the management interfaces to the southbound network plane VLAN configured in the previous step. Because firewalls cannot go online through the ZTP process on iMaster NCE Fabric, you need to manually pre-configure the underlay network, including the hot standby mirroring, SNMP, NetConf and LLDP configurations. Here, only some key configurations are provided. For detail configurations in this phase, you can refer to the Huawei Cloud Fabric Data Center Network Solution Easy Scenario product documentation on the Huawei Technical Support website. The third phase is to install the iMaster NCE Fabric software. In the Easy Scenario, iMaster NCE Fabric can be installed using one of these modes. This video introduces the first two modes. For the third mode, you can refer to the product documentation. If a server is delivered with factory default settings, the OS and iMaster NCE Fabric software have been installed on the server. In this case, Use a browser on a terminal to log into the iMaster NCE Fabric Management Plane through the default address. Choose Commissioning, Deployment Commissioning, and Modify Data, such as the host name and southbound and northbound network plane addresses, 
according to the commissioning wizard. If a server is not delivered with factory default settings, you need to install the OS and iMaster NCE Fabric software on site. Log in to the Huawei Technical Support website and download the iMaster NCE Fabric software package, Easy Suite installation package, and Eula OS software package. Log into the server, configure RAID, install the OS, and set system parameters. For details, see the product documentation. Decompress the EasySuite installation package and start EasySuite on the PC. Create an iMaster NCE Fabric installation task. Select the installation mode. Upload the software installation package. Modify the parameter planning. Check the installation environment and start the installation. Then, wait until the installation is complete. Finally, use the northbound floating IP address configured during the installation to log into the service plane of iMaster NCE Fabric and import the license file obtained from the ESDP website. In the fourth phase, let's use iMaster NCE Fabric to automatically bring devices online. Before devices are able to go online automatically, you need to complete the following initial configurations on iMaster NCE Fabric. Disable data synchronization upon first going online. Set the SSH fingerprint verification policy by turning on the two switches. Enable the SFTP service and create an SFTP account with the download permission. Then, enter the Easy Network Deployment Mode. Enter the basic networking information of switches on the service network. iMaster NCE Fabric will then automatically generate the network topology and deployment solution plan. After that, you can modify and confirm the default deployment parameter settings, such as the Manage Switch IP address, interconnection interface between switches, interconnection address pool, and BTEP IP address based on your project requirements. iMaster NCE Fabric will then evaluate the current deployment solution. It verifies various deployment parameters and generates a configuration script for each switch. You can view the solution again and export the deployment solution details to the local host. Then perform the following operations. Enter the ESNs of Spine 1 and Spine 2 in that order. The controller will match the configuration scripts of Spine 1 and Spine 2 based on the ESNs. Set the password for logging in to a switch through the console port. To change the switch version, you can specify the switch software package in CC format. Configure NetConf and SNMP parameters for interconnection between the controller and switches. Upload the license files and index files of the switches. Decompress the deployment solution file exported from the controller and complete service connections between network devices based on the topology connection table. Select the switches to be brought online. The controller then instructs the switches to go online automatically. Finally, deliver the overlay service. In Access Port Pre-Configuration, import the interface connection table so that the controller knows the interfaces connecting the server leaf nodes to service servers and delivers the access pre-configuration to these interfaces. Next, create a tenant and a VPC. If servers need to access an external network, enable the external network function, create an external gateway, and enter the interconnection interface and IP address between the border leaf node and egress router. After that, create the service gateway and VLAN ID of the server based on the service plan. Be sure to set the VLAN ID to zero when a physical machine is connected. Add the physical interfaces on the server leaf nodes with the same configurations to one group so that configurations can be delivered in batches. Start the deployment and wait for a moment. When the progress reaches 100%, all configurations are successfully delivered. 
The logical networking diagram of the VPC is displayed. A logical router represents a VPN, a logical switch represents a subnet, and a logical port represents a server access point on a server leaf node. If you want to deploy other network services in the VPC, click Redeploy and repeat the preceding operations. If new servers need to be connected to the service subnet that has been delivered, click Access Port Expansion. Select a port group to which configurations are to be delivered. Note that if no port group exists, you need to create one. Enter the VLAN ID based on the service plan and select an existing logical switch for access. Start the access port configuration delivery. When the progress reaches 100%, the service is successfully delivered. To use more advanced network service orchestration functions, choose Service Provisioning from the main menu. For example, access the VPC list of a tenant and then access the orchestration page of the VPC. On the orchestration page, you can orchestrate more service functions. And there you go. You've now learned the overall process and key operations for deploying a data center network in the Cloud Fabric Easy scenario. Thanks for watching.